So I'm back out here today working on the uh, Apocalypse Wasteland Bug build that uh, we're swapping a Predator from Harbor Freight into. And people might say, oh, well, you're buying that. Yeah, I am buying that, but you know what? Other people have bought those, so when the apocalypse comes, there's going to be some around. Don't worry about it. But, uh, so this is mostly, uh, how I got it, and, uh, I'm thinking I'm in a cut. Well, I'm getting rid of the battery box because I'm not doing a street bike motor, um, like they were. But I'm thinking I'm going to cut out a chunk of this. And so that my motor can be, you know, somewhere up in here. And then I'd be able to access the um, torque converter and the pulleys and stuff from that side. So that's that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. And then uh, I'm thinking for my motor mount and everything, I'm going to start out with two upright. I'm not sure what's yet. Maybe two by twos or something. Uh, square. They go from that mounting hole to that mounting hole. So I'm going to start out with two uprights. And then my pillow bearing will go across. And then I'll have to space out. Do another pillow bearing. You know for my pulley. But then uh, I'll do a cross out this way. You know cross one out this way. To uh, put my motor on up here. And then my chain will go down to the sprocket on that jack shaft. Yeah, but for now, I'm going to start with clearance, and, and uh, I don't need some of this stuff that they've got on here, and so there's no point in me keeping it. So I'm going to get rid of these. There's no reason, you know, for me to have them dangling there. Get rid of that, and then I'm thinking I'm in clearance, you know, probably just going to come out and around and kind of like that or something, just... Just to give myself plenty of access around the engine. And it gets rid of some of these uh, little tabs and stuff that are in the way. Alright YouTube. So I took this, uh, I think it's like a 2x3 or 1.5x3 or something. I don't know. Who cares. But I took this and uh, I used my Sharpie. And I kind of did like a Z to where it leaves me those tabs that I can then drill through and these will be my initial uprights to start building my motor mount and jack shaft off of so next step is getting these drilled to size right YouTube so this is how far I've gotten I don't know uh, how much of this I recorded because I started listening to uh, copyright music and uh, jamming along and, and kind of working but so there's my top plate across and then I got these each set up so they'll come down to the bottom hole and then come up next to it so I can weld you know down and around and then on the top and the back probably too brought that up to where it kind of matches to that just that was already in the car but I'm going to leave it just because it already looks so ghetto, so to speak, or, or you know, tore up, uh, whatever. So then the other side is going to come right here. And then for my pillow block bearings, I'll just have to do cross ones this way to mount them. And then a spacer and then another one so that I can get them and, and my chain set up and stuff. And I was thinking that... uh you know, this gives me a nice little flat spot up here that I can do some sort of plate, some sort of whatever, probably out and over to here to where the motor will sit, the chain will go down, and uh, we'll be good to go. And then I cut this out now too, um, once I kind of started figuring out where the motor was going to be. I don't need it to be perfect, I don't want it to be perfect, I want it to look pretty hacked up, so um, good enough. Ran to Wilco, spent four bucks on bolts and nuts and washers and stuff to mount my pillow bearings and my motor and my plate that I'm building to this motor, you know, the transmission. So, four bucks. 
not be too bad. So first I got that top plate bolted on there with the bolts that I got from the store from Wilco. So now I'm going to put my little uprights and bolt them at the bottom and put them against that and weld it up. So that's what I came up with so far. Yes, a lot of people do like the, the plate, but I just felt like this would be easier. And I want it to look hacked together, fabbed together. I want you to be able to see that clutch disc spinning and stuff. So I'm choosing to do mine in a more open manner. But now I've got to build the uh, brackets out here that are going to hold my jack shaft assembly. So I got that uh, socket, which is going to be my adapter from the clutch to my jack shaft. Got that welded on there real quick. Um, and then I also got this started to weld. I, I just put welds on the top. I got to put ones on the insides and then pull it off there and uh, put some on the back to make it even stronger. I put a tack in each of those bottom corners which will prevent these from getting out of whack when I pull it apart. But I'm not going to pull it completely apart yet because I still have to put my jack shaft adapter out here. So I'm not quite done. But that's what I've got so far. I got the socket welded to the uh, clutch going out to right now it's just an extension but I'm waiting on a jack shaft I'm waiting on a three quarter inch jack shaft that fits all this stuff so now I've got to mount my bearings to a piece of metal that goes across you know and is able to hold that basically and then I'll have to you know do a motor mount up here might even just come straight off that cut that one off not real sure yet and I just wanted to say real quick don't let people uh, hate on you don't let people uh, uh, discount your builds and, and discourage you tell you you don't got the right tools or this or that I'm out here working in a driveway in the gravel I just got a little uh, Harbor Freight welder you know I, I you guys can do this stuff man believe in what God gave you Believe in your own two God-given hands. Take on new projects. Learn new skills. Build something. Fix something. Create something. Do something that when you're done at the end of the day, you'll look back. You'll see what you accomplished and you'll feel good about it. You'll have some more self-worth, some more self-esteem. You'll feel good about yourself. Don't sit around. Don't sit idle. Don't be doing the devil's work, guys. Till next time, keep building shit.